Dear children of God, this week we celebrate Ash Wednesday out here in the vineyard uh, down along the creek and uh, wanted to show you here a pile of old fence posts and I don't know how well you can see but uh, there's one two of them in the shape of a cross these fence posts are special to me because they came from a fence around my grandmother and grandfather's house uh, that survived a fire back in 1974 and you can see these two pieces I used for the cross you can see the charred marks on them where where the fire did damage on Ash Wednesday <clears throat> we celebrate the beginning of Lent the season of the church year where we especially focus on the cross that Jesus died for us a long time ago and that cross stands in the middle of history as a testimony to God's love for us one of the traditions of Ash Wednesday is that we put the sign of the cross on our foreheads with ashes as a reminder that we were made from dust when the Lord first created people and because of sin in the world when we die to dust we shall return I'm gonna slowly walk over here toward a pile of ashes that we have a burn pile and while we're headed that way I'm guessing most of you remember the story of Jonah how he uh, God had a job for him and he wasn't all that excited about doing it so he ran from God he ended up uh, being thrown off of a ship and swallowed by a whale and spent three days and nights inside the belly of that whale and a little bit later the uh, the whale coughed him up and uh, he landed on shore and then he went finally to do what God had asked him to do and what God had asked him to do was go to the city of Nineveh a great big city and proclaim to them that God was gonna destroy the city unless they repented unless they returned from their ways and he went to the city he proclaimed that message and what happens in Jonah chapter 3 you can read it if you'd like but it says everybody in the city repented and they sat in sackcloth and ashes I don't know if you know what sackcloth is here but I have a, a picture that I found on the internet and it's cloth that's woven it could be out of camel's hair or goat hair or hemp or cotton or flax and it's really rough I remember as a kid we would get seed in gunny sacks and I was very allergic to them when I showed my wife this picture this morning she said oh I was allergic to that and what happens it uh, it scratches it itches uh, almost like uh, rubbing yourself with a piece of sandpaper which uh, we probably wouldn't ever want to do but anyway it was a sign of repentance the people would put on clothes made out of sackcloth and then they would sit in the ashes and here you can see a whole bunch of ashes and sitting in sackcloth and ashes was a sign that we know we are dust and to dust we shall return the good news that we always celebrate during Ash Wednesday and the whole season of Lent the whole church year and all our lives long is that Jesus died the cross to save us to forgive us from our sins and then was raised from the dead so that we can live with him forever so when you either alone or or with your family if you take some ashes and print the sign of the cross on your forehead and if you'd like you can use the words you are dust and to dust you shall return 
but in our Lord Jesus Christ, there is resurrection and life. God's peace be and remain with you all. In the name of Jesus, amen.